you know, overall thoughts on on how that outing went for you today? Um, I actually felt pretty good today, even though the velo wasn't that high. Um, I just made some really, really solid pitches um, throughout the night. Um, against a good lineup like this, a very patient team there, they can put the bat on the ball really quick. And um, yeah, just made some really big pitches um, in some big situations. I think like two or three years ago, I mean, that could have exploded into six, eight runs <laughs> easily. Um, but I just kind of gathered myself a little bit, made some big pitches in some big spots and, and held the boys to, you know, 3-3 three, three there and had a good chance to win. But um, that, that's baseball. But overall for myself, just felt pretty good and um, just takes those, those positive way. Um, it seems like every game I'm like battling out of a inning like that. And um, But I mean, we're just getting the job done, keeping the guys in it. And uh, you know, that's, that's all I can do. We're still getting to know you obviously as a pitcher a little bit, but you know, in those big spots and those pressure moments, what, what are you doing in your head to, to get yourself back together and, and obviously get out of those, those tough situations? Just slowing it down. Really, you got to really slow it down because things can get very, very fast out there and I tend to just get the ball and go just get the ball and go and that's when you're not thinking about the pitch at hand you're not thinking who's that who's at bat and all these kind of things and when my son was born you know I got a bunch of tattoos everywhere on my hands and stuff and I kind of just look at them you know kind of think about my kids for a minute and that really just slows things down for me and then I kind of you know once I look back up I really got to focus on the pitch and my inside one pitch can get you out of it um I really try to bear down and uh just really kind of slow things down, like like I said, because I'm just all right. Once I get you know upset, I can really get <laughs> fast, get really going fast, and that's when things can, can can go south really quick. So just one of those quick little breathing um, things, just looking and, and thinking about my kids for a minute, and then step up and go from there. Awesome, thanks. Yep. Other questions? Oh man, <laughs> Kennedy. Hey Mike, uh, did you did you make your major league debut here in Houston when you were with them? Yeah, actually, it's a yeah, long story short. My my parents got flights got delayed and everything. I got called up as a reliever, um, so you just don't know when you're going to get in and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think the second day I got called up, I I made my uh, debut here against Toronto. So it's yeah, a little special memory. It's been a while um, since I've been back here and um, just seeing everything. I was kind of here for the playoffs last year and all that stuff, but. That didn't really count. But, um, yeah, it's been a minute. I don't think I've faced these guys in a regular season game ever. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just I was kind of a little pumped up, you know, just, you know, you always kind of want to, you know, show off in front of your old teams and all that stuff. But um, you know, I just, just battled and, uh, yeah, just it gets a very good team. But, it's, yeah, it's been a minute since I've been back here, and uh, it's pretty cool. Great. Thanks, Mike. Levi. Mike, I don't know how close to the camera you are, but you – you mentioned tattoos when your kids were born. You can you show us? Can we can we see this? Yeah. Um, sorry, it's on my middle finger there, <laughs> but it's my my son Lola Jet. I used to have um, got a jet on my hand, and that's my daughter Lola B. And um, so basically, I was in a good spot for me where I can actually just sit there and okay, look at my hand real quick. I um, mean, I'll just think of what a what a gift they are and stuff like that. And um, you know, once I look up, you know, you kind of really forget when you know what's kind of going on around you, but then you focus on home plate again and you get, then you get it locked in instead of thinking negative. Thinking negative is, is the worst thing that can happen to you. And I, in the years before, that's what I thought, you know, when you get in those situations, like, oh, no, I'm going to give up a home run to this guy. Oh, no, I'm going to walk this guy. Oh, no. And that's, no, you, you, <laughs> you cannot think that one bit because this stuff actually happens when you think about that stuff. It's weird. You know, you, you can get deep into that kind of conversation, but whatever it is, once I kind of start, you know, things start going south, I got to boom, go to them right away. So I don't think of anything negative. You know, I think of picking up my son, picking up my daughter, just seeing the smiles on their face. You now that kind of brings me back to where I need to be. And then boom, we go and try to focus at hand. But I learned this negativity is you can't have it in this game or other opponent already won. Thanks, Levi. 